Here we have DynamoDB as a command line interface to do CRUD operations. And I have some documentation that walks through step by step how to do it. So first up, one of the things to point out here is that I have the AWS toolkit loaded. What's nice about this is it gives me access to, for example, the DynamoDB resources once I create them. So I could go into this uh, interface here look at the tables, inspect them, and we see that there's no resources currently available. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type in these commands step by step. And this is one of the advantages of a tool like AWS DynamoDB is the ability to just paste a shell command uh, right into the terminal and actually work with the key value database. So first up here, let's do the traditional create a command here. So here I've gone through and I've created this particular table. Now, if we go back to the resources here uh, and we check this out and I do a refresh, we should see that there's a newly created table that populates here. And of course there is. Next up, what we can do is we can go to AWS DynamoDB list tables. Let's go ahead and list the tables that are available. And of course we see the same thing from the GUI as we do from the terminal. Now it's time to update the information or put a new record inside so we can actually run AWS DynamoDB put item and we do dash dash table name customer. So we say, look, this is the table I want to put this particular item inside of. And you can see here that it's a JSON data structure. Uh, and this is a great way to really get started uh, very simply to to build things out. Great. Now, uh, in order to get the item, we can actually do the next command. There we go. And you see that I've been able to return the record that I put earlier. Now, if we want to update the item, let's go ahead and paste this command in. What this is going to do is change. If we remember back here, the uh, username was John Doe. We're going to change this to Jane Doe. Let's go ahead and paste that in. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and query the uh, DynamoDB. Here we go. Perfect. We've been able to query it. Now we can do a scan operation. So the difference between a query and a scan it is, is a scan is basically a brute force technique. Show me everything that you've got inside of this particular table. Let's go ahead and run it. Of course, that works as well. Finally, uh, we can go through here and we can delete things. If we go through here, we can actually delete things. And then finally, once you do any kind of a demo, go ahead and clean up what you did and delete this DynamoDB table.